Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Assalatu wassalam ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa sallam. So we have covered present tense last time. We covered past tense before that. Now what we'll cover is something that's called an order or a prohibition. So an order is called Amr in Arabic and a prohibition is called Nahi in Arabic. So this is from Amr bil ma'roof, so you order the good, wa nahi, and you prohibit it, anil munkar from the evil, right? And the munafikin they do the opposite. They order the prohibit, uh, they order the munkar, and they prohibit the good. Okay, so how do you have this in Arabic language? How would you see that in Quran? So now. In terms of single, uh, the second person, first person, or third person, we only have to deal with second person here. Why? Because order and prohibition is given when you're talking to somebody. When you're talking to somebody, then it's always second person. Right? So it would be, please do this, don't do this. It won't be to a third person. It doesn't make sense. You talk to somebody and you give them a order. Or you tell them, not do something. Now also order can be order can be a request like the same form can also be used for a request and for a advice. So it would depend on the parties involved in a communication. Right? So if you are talking to your son or your daughter then it's an order in general. Right? And if you're talking to a friend then it's an advice or a request. Right? So if you're if you're asking for example to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we still use the same form of the word, the literal form is still the same. But in that sense it is a dua, it is a request, it is a plea that we want something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us with. But the form is the same. Similarly in Quran, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses this form to tell us something, then it is in general and order something that we must do unless there are some other indication that tell us that it is an optional thing. So for example, we have seen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Adam and Hawa Islam to eat. So it does not mean that you have to eat all the time. Or he says to her to, to eat the, poor, uh, the pure things. So meaning that you are allowed to eat the pure things, only consume the pure thing as you need, and so on and so forth. Right? Uh, so this is something that we have discussed earlier and we were stu studying the words. Sometimes we say that it's an order, sometimes it's something that is allowed to do and recommended to do depending on the order and different context and different proofs and so on and so forth. Okay, so now if you want to say fa'ala means he did something, yaf'alu means he does something or he will do something. Now if you want to say do something or please do something, or I recommend you do this thing. How do you use that? It's if al. So you make, you add a Hamza. And then you make the first root letter Sakin. And then it is if al. Now, this Hamza is called Hamza tul was. Meaning that this is read if you are starting from that word. But if you had something else before it, like a wow or something, then you would drop it. Example is, for example, ittaku. Ittaku means fear Allah, fear, right? Ittaqullah, fear Allah. Sorry, or ittaqillah, fear Allah, if you're talking about single, right? But let's say if you had a wow in the yeah, in the uh, in the beginning, and you're you're continuing with something else, so you'd say. What the Allah? What the Allah? So the Hamza gets dropped. So you join the wow with the ta. So observe this when you see it in Quran, right? So Hamza gets dropped. Also, there's one more thing: is that what would be on this Hamza? Would it always be a kasra? No. So sometimes you would see that it would be a bomma, but it would never be a fatha in this simple form. It would never be a fatha in this simple. Form. So when would it be a Dhamma? You look at this third letter. Third letter, if you count the Hamza, is the first letter, right? So Hamza is first, 
five second and this is the third letter so if the third letter has a fatha or a kasra then this hamza would take a kasra if the third letter has a dhamma then the hamza would take a dhamma example of this is un dhur un dhur so un dhur meaning watch out look at right so hamza takes a dhamma because the wa has a dhamma so observe this in quran or write down this example and you will see so anyways so that the bottom line is that this is how you would see the order form if al and if you are, if you are talking to two person, it would be if ala. All you are doing is adding a simple alif. And if you are talking about tula, it would be if alu. So ittaq, ittaq, and ittaq. Right. So pray Allah subhanahu wa taala. And similarly for female, you add a ya. So if ali, if ala, and if al. So this noon for female. Now, if you're making it a prohibition, if you're take, if you're giving a negation of something, then it's a little bit different. So you add a law all the time to make it a prohibition, and then it is taf al, taf al, taf ala, taf alu, taf ali, taf ala, taf. Then they, they will give you some vocabulary, and then here are the examples. Let's do some example. We'll do all the examples this time. So look, Ain Lam Mim El Knowledge Alima He Knew. Now to know is Air Demo. Air Demo. So Alima He Knew, Air Demo. You should know this. La Taf Al. And on the same pattern is La. Tadhab, do not go. La taj al, do not make. So la taj al, ma Allahi, do not make. Ma, with Allah, ilahan, God, deity, other, other. Not make set partners with Allah. So la taqulu, do not say. So ya ayu al ladin amanu, la taqulu. Ra'ina, do not say Ra'ina, waqulun dhurna. So do not say Ra'ina, waqulu, but say unzurna. It is from Al Baqarah. La taqraba, you two do not come near. Right? Allah is talking to Adam and Hawaii says, Wala taqraba, hazi shajar. Right? So two people, this form is used. La tas alni. What do you think this is? Do not ask me. It becomes so obvious, right? You don't have to like think of very uh, form. You just say, okay, this is la negation. And then you see the root su'al. And then you see me, me. So Allah says to Nuh alayhi salam, la tas'alni ma laysa laka bihi ilm. Okay? Wasma'u. What do you think this is? Listen, right? And the same words. Ya ayu ladhina amanu, la taqulun, la taqulun ra'ina wa qulun furna, wasma'u. And listen. لا تفرقوا from فا را ق do not divide do not get divided لا تكونوا do not be do not be right so كلوا you all say something كل singular كلوا plural and كن be إركبوا Irkabu is to write, right? To write on something. Ish, 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 ribu. You all drink. Wow, is telling you is for all. Now look, ish rahli. Ish rah means from shin ra ha. Shar, shar means explanation. Or expansion. So, Ishrahli, widen me, open up for me. Now, you have the dua, Rabbish Rahli. So, now this is an order? No, it's a dua because you're talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbish Rahli. And in this, you see that the Hamza gets dropped. Why? Because the ba of Rabb joins with the sheen of 
شرح قل س اشرح سبرت لا تخافي not fear so this is for female right Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses a female in Quran with this لا تخافي who is that That will be uh, like this, like la tas alni. Right? So, yes. Yeah, like, like this, right? La tas alni. So, knee is for me. Right? So, knee is for me. So, so la. Now this yeah is for feminine, right? It's not for because uh, another thing to notice is a good time to mention that we I don't think we have talked about this earlier is that uh, for I it's Anna and for mine is ya, right? So for example, Rob B my Rob. But when you want to mention it as an object, it would be me. Always it would be ni. So we say Alhamdulillah uh, ladhi at ama ni. Right? We don't say at ami at ama ni, because he fed me. So here I am acting as an object. Right? So whenever it's an object, it's always ni. Okay. So la taqafi. This is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala saying to the mother of Musa alayhi salam. La taqafi wa la taqzani. Inna radu ilayk. We will return him to you. La taqraba. Earlier, is how you go. Okay, so this is how you would see the order and prohibition appearing in Quran, and on top of that, it's easier. It's even easier for you to recognize this because the context is also helping you to understand if it is order, negation, or past tense or present tense or all different things. But now that you're picking it up, you can inshallah start paying more attention to it when you see it in Quran. And if you want to double check it, you can easily go back to corpus and see what kind of order or negation it is.